So I have decided to do more testing with this Lineage OS build. Same as before, Lineage OS version 21. It's an unofficial build based on Android TV OS 14. And you can watch it boot up. This time I've swapped out the thumb drive with a one terabyte external mechanical drive, just a standard cheap Toshiba portable drive attached directly to the OTG, excuse me, OTG cable, no hub, using a five volt, two and a half amp power supply. So that's neato, not using a hub. Obviously, if I was running into file corruption or mounting issues, I would certainly put a powered hub in there, but haven't needed to yet. And there's the drive. Um, last time it said XFAT because I took the time to change the label of the thumb drive. I left this device alone, so it does not say XFAT. That was not a function of the operating system. I poked around on archive.org and tracked down a super high quality copy of this. This is a public domain film. It's been in the public domain for a long time. It's all over YouTube on public domain channels. So I would sure hope I don't get any takedown notices against this video. That would just be asinine. But, you know, it wouldn't surprise me, but I'm going to take a chance anyway. So 7.65 gigabytes, XFAT file system. Super neat old car. Okay, and that was it. I just wanted to actually do a better example of Kodi uh, XFAT support. Um, I would expect that if I was using the retail OS, I could just format the drive NTFS and it would work exactly the same. Uh, like before, I'm unsure if there's any reason to install these ROMs on the retail devices. Maybe in the future, if there's no more ROM, updates or security updates, you would want to try Lineage OS, but um, for a nerd like me, it's fun to play, and and as before, I'll, I'll do more videos for, for sure if there's a Lineage OS build for the second generation uh, 4K streaming boxes, the Yacht Yoke devices, but there you go, uh, XFAT support on Android TV OS 14 on a $20 Walmart on 4K streaming box, first generation Depender.